still looks spooky. That sounds really good. It's large, like like Her Majesty. <laughs> Just taking a little nap with your rifle. Hi, I'm Will, and I'm a Southern California native. I live with my partner Steve. I arrived to Los Angeles back in the 80s by way of Montreal and Toronto. We both have traveled the world and we are now exploring our own backyard, finding places that we never knew existed. We are taking hikes to stretch our legs and along the way we're discovering historical landmarks of interest that we hope you'll enjoy. Our channel is a way to capture these moments that we share together and we invite you to follow along in our adventures. Riley's farm and what do we have in the farm? Animules. That sounds smells like they're from here. Hi animules. Yes. How are you? That's an animal. How are you today in the animal world? Huh? Oh, get this. I think I know what I want for Christmas dinner. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, baby. I know. Civil War tour. Oh. They look like crab apples, but. Definitely a place that I've never been. Steve, I have inter something interesting to show you. I've never seen this before. I've only seen it in the grocery store, but apparently this is where apples come from. And on an actual tree. Whoa! See, they are. Bite it, bite it. I guess the, these little holes are where supposedly where um, the bees stung it. It's not worms. Where a worm can go in there. Hmm. Leave that for coyotes. Almost looks like a gala apple. How is it? <laughs> <laughs> See, they re should refrigerate these. I wonder if we came towards the end of the season. There's not many very apples in there. I would say you're right, Will. Fun, huh, Will? It is where they do the hangings. Oh no. It's more for tourist season. Someone feels it's so comfortable here that they could wear their pajamas. Oh. A few animals over here. Animals. How are you doing? If you have something to eat, you need to be glad. Hey, you. How are you doing? How's everything going over here? Don't bite me now. I used to have this one in my ranch. And I and give it the milk to my grandfather. They said they make all this. It's really good for them. Yeah, 
Oh. I think we might become popular. Down here, your seasonal. Oh. Hi there. How is everything? How you doing? Good. Everyone. Just taking a little nap with your rifle? Oh, just relaxing after a long march. Oh, you did? Where did you go? Uh, we marched over to Los Rios and then marched back. That is a march. Yes, it is. I just thought I'd catch you here while you were taking it in and relaxing. No problem. Thank you. What time period? Civil War. Farm. Is that true? We're up here? Yes, it oh. is. That's the parking shed he built when he came to this uh, city all those years ago. And part of what made it what it is today, he is the one who uh, you know, built this apple farm, took it from the potato farming to the apples. Um, if you look up on that hill, the highest peak there is going to be Wilshire Peak, named after him. Oh, right. Yeah. Well, thank you. I had no idea. You're very welcome. Thank you very much as well. Absolutely. Y'all huh? have a wonderful day. And that. Well, where was it the one you were saying that they do the jam? Oh, that's more up over there. Okay. And we can go over there and see it. And it's a big plane you can walk to. Yeah, this is blackberries. Be careful because they have thorns. I see that, yes. A lot of thorns. Yes. Well, it wouldn't be like a raisin, I don't think. Oh, is it? Oh, good. Yeah, every once in a while I'll see some, but they're all dried. I am such a city person that just coming up here, it's wonderful. Unfortunately, I planned this wrong. Uh, it seems like apple season, pumpkin season, even the berry season is already over. It's uh, November 13th, so we kind of missed the picking. But nevertheless, I enjoy it and uh, hopefully we'll come back next year and come back with a whole bushel full of apples but no bad ones 
no bats. Just a different kind of squash, feel like coyote. It's really good. And the, the cows and all those all animals love it. You would think, I don't know, you would come back to do a second harvest. I guess it's not that valuable of a crop. I don't know. But if you know, if you could leave a, a comment for us to let us know how valuable are pumpkins after the first harvest. This is a fruit we call it manzanitas, little apples. They're really good. But I guess they don't have it no time. I never thought about it, but I guess it makes sense. We're in November, soon to go into winter. Yeah. I guess that's why um, there's no fruit to be, uh, to be growing. Better planning next time. It still looks spooky. It's like where the headless horseman will be at. <laughs> this is a really nice little path. Yeah, we walked that, that, that. Mm -hmm. So no, that, no. Here, I never come all this way here, but uh, we, I went to the restaurant. This is what I used to do at my ranch. Take it out this. I have a big thing outside and do it like this. There and like that. Really? Open this and take them this and put it back. Put it back. This. Mean the bad ones or the good ones? Oh, you have to collect all. Oh, you do? But you have a big uh, petaca. We call it petaca here and you just do it like this. You could get a crunchy apple, you don't have to be refrigerated. Who knew? Who knew? <laughs> that sounds really good. That's good. good if you have a lot of things to haul. This is the coolest place, isn't it, It Will? really is. I know, I it's love it. It's a small town feel, very um, farmers, country. I need to go home and get a plaid shirt. I need a checkered shirt. Are we on the road again? On the road again. <laughs> what generations of my family used to do. Pick fruit. Did they? Yes, I know my mother's older siblings. Her father will take them um, to some of the uh, the farms. I don't know exactly where. I know they went to Northern California, I believe. But yeah, they would um, go and pick farm, uh, fruit wherever need to. The harvest was coming out. Unfortunately, uh, having such a large family, uh, fortunately, it was more about working than about education. So the older boys were taken out of school to work on the farms and the girls were taken out of school to take care of the more kids that were coming. So this could have been my future. Could have been, but it's not.
Steve. Look at those Christmas trees. Wow. I'm just, just saying, just conversation, nothing more. That's a nice Christmas tree. Just conversation. Planting a seed. And when you plant a seed, that grows. <laughs> Steve, what are your impressions of uh, Glen Oaks? I really like it here very much. And in a way, I'm glad that we did not come here in full season because this would have been a zoo. True. I, I, I grant you that. But it would have been a nice experience to actually see the fruits on the trees, the berries still there. So, I mean, I know. It's a mixed bag. It's a good experience. I'm, I'm happy we did come here today. I am too, William. And, um... Oh, kiss. Yay! You want to get some? Doesn't bring it home? How, doesn't say how much it is. What is it? That sounds good. Oh. What you getting, guys? Apple berry cider. And this is going to be your traditional English style apple cider. So that'll be a nice treat later on. Yeah. And a lot of homemade jams here, preserves. Oh, that might not be bad too. Raspberry jalapeno. Ooh. I might not say no to this one, a raspberry jalapeno. Oh, yes. That might be a nice little um, oh. sweet and hot. Yes. Cranberry. There's a peach. Strawberry rhubarb. How are you doing today? Oh, I'm good. Uh, yes, please. So what are the <laughs> Welcome. So there you go. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you. What are the tickets? These tomahawk archery, candle, doll making glasses. Which one do I do? They're gonna, I'm pretty sure they're going to do a tomahawk and archery. You guys are going to get a candle dipping? You get a hot Hello, lady and sir. Good day. How's the day going? Quite well, and yours? It's going pretty good. What? A, that's quite an outfit you're both wearing. Oh, thank you. British. Hi, indeed. Us. English. Oh, very good. Yes. British English, almost the same. Well, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Where in England are you from, sir? Well, I'm actually from Quebec, but I come from English. Oh, from an English background? Yes, yes. yes. Oh, so, you're, so you live in Canada then? No, I live in Los Angeles for 30 years. Oh, right. Yeah, I, des I deserted. Oh. I deserted the Royalists. Oh, well, that's yeah. not good. Well, I had to do it. Oh, why is that? The weather. The weather? Yeah. So, so that's, that's a fair excuse. Well, it is a fair excuse, but, uh, but uh, leaving, the, leaving the, uh, the, the comfort of the monarchy is the weather. Well, we, Seems a bit extreme, do you not think so? Well, we have a picture of the Queen on our dresser. Well, that, that makes everything all right. <laughs> What's that? He brought the monarchy with him. Yes. Well, that, there you are. Okay. There you are. Well, and that's that, no joke. He has a picture of the Queen oh, I believe on the dresser. I, I, I do believe him. <laughs> and it's not a little one. It's it's large. Like like Her Majesty. <laughs> very good. Very, very true. Well, very thank good. you very much. You're very welcome. Enjoy your day and thank you. Thank, thank you. you. She thinks I still care But if she's happy thinking I still need her Think
And just because I spoke her name somewhere Just because I saw her then fell all to pieces She thinks I still